Coach Tiggins back at uh, night, that first meeting with Coach Tiggins? Yeah, well, uh, it was a, uh, you know, it, it was just kind of crazy at first. Like, wow, I got a new coach. But, uh, but uh, he was definitely just an easygoing guy, and I feel like I could learn from him. And you know, uh, just his concepts and uh, and his morals, I, I feel like he'll be he's gonna be a great coach and have success here. How crazy the past few weeks been for you guys? You know, you thought Coach Robinson was gonna be around. Yeah, no, yeah. Wasn't. Yeah, it, it was definitely crazy. I mean, I just woke up one morning and all of a sudden I didn't have a coach. So, uh, but you know, uh, people people were still. Uh, on board and uh, you know guys are still working out as if we had a coach and you know I didn't feel like it was as bad as people make it out to be. He said that, uh, you guys got fired up in that last night. It was the players perspective that first meeting between you guys afterwards. You guys yeah I mean we, we definitely got fired up in there but uh, you know, I feel like it was also just a sign of relief. You know guys were like oh finally we got someone somebody that we can lean on again and uh, you know ended up being good. He said uh, some guys might have said Wayne Tickle, Wayne who? Were you one of those guys, or would you know? You know we were... Nah, um, actually, uh, I know Wayne since I was in high school. Uh, since I was in high school, I had a, a couple of players from the Bay Area go out and play for him, and uh, he came out. He came out and watched me a couple of times in high school. So I, I knew who he was, but I definitely had to do some research on him. And uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was good. You had some success with guys from from your around your hometown area. What excites you most? You heard what his philosophy is on offense and defense. What excites you most as a player? What it says me most about a player is that uh, he really stresses defense, and you know, and uh, he kind of has, kind of has that agreement with his players. If you guys just work your butts off on uh, defense, and you can, then you can have a free range on offense. And I and, and I love that. I grew up playing that way, and I and I, I'm I'm excited to play like that again. Two words about Michael: a fresh start. Do you feel like as a player here? Kind of, but I had two, I had two years already, so it's not really a fresh start for me. But uh, you know, it's a fresh start for the program, and I feel like we can kind of, you know, take that fresh start and make something out of it. What do you think is the state of Beaver basketball right now? I mean, that defection, you know, guys go to the NBA, that you know, people graduate. How would you classify the state of the Beavers right now? Well, uh, a lot of people will probably classify it as rebuilding, but I, I don't see it that way. I feel like we have a lot of key pieces right now, you know, things that we can work from. And I feel like that, uh, you know, this is just kind of just like a, uh, you guys can think of it as a as a second chapter. So. Some, some people look at what this roster has on paper, and some people say, prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. How do you guys take that? You guys probably have to disagree, I imagine. Yeah, well, we definitely disagree. I mean, a lot of guys feel like they didn't have a lot of chance, and, uh, you know, so... Uh, they say that we lost five leading scores. Well, that means we're going to have five new leading scores next year.